Hello, you guys. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kiana, and this is Open Heavens. Mm -hmm. And today we have my good dear friend. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How are you guys? Um, I'm blessed to be here with my friend. I came on here today to share my experience with a false relationship. Um, dealing with someone who was not my spouse um, they call it counterfeit uh, but I just want to give my experience on that because I was in my prayer uh, closet or I was in my prayer room just interceding with the Lord and just talking to the Lord and he put it on my uh, spirit to go ahead and make this video I don't know who needs to hear this or who is who this is for um, but Yes, I'm gonna go straight into the, um, what God gave me and allow the Holy Spirit to flow. But uh, just for the people out there, I want to pray for whoever is going to watch this video, um, whoever is going to um, come and see this video, even in the future, for the future, for you guys to still be able to get some things and be healed and delivered and set free from anything that's not of God. Um, even if it's not, a boy or spouse or anything but it's like a friend or anything mm -hmm. and so um we're just going to go ahead and pray for our the watchers and so um thank you so much heavenly father for this blessed day oh god we thank you for every soul heavenly father that's going to come onto this lot onto the stream heavenly father and uh just hear all of your glory, all of your glory, oh God. Hear the, the marvelous, wonderful things that you have brought me out of. Hear how you free your people who, who seek you diligently, Heavenly Father, who look towards you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, oh God, and we pray that they receive something, oh God. Heavenly Father, even if it's just one person, that they receive freedom from you, that they receive knowledge and wisdom from you, oh God, to know what you're saying in this time and this season, to know if it's something that, that's not of you, oh God, to let it go, Heavenly Father, because you're going to, the Holy Spirit is going to convict us, oh God. And so we just thank you, Heavenly Father, and we just pray for everyone watching or that's going to watch right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name that we have prayed and believe. Amen. Amen. And so um, I want to just thank my friend for allowing me to come on her page, on her YouTube page, and just do this. Um, but and the reason why I have her in here because it's some things that it got so serious y'all it got so serious it got so serious and y'all we gonna get to that point but it got really serious like where god was really trying to speak to me and tell me like that's not it it's this is just not it and so it all began um back when uh, i was at home back in 2020 um and first I was not looking for a well as I believe that wasn't I wasn't looking for a spouse you know I'm just now getting entering into Christ I'm, I'm new in Christ I'm just I'm on fire for the Lord you know I'm on fire for the Lord I'm on fire for the Lord and that's all I wanted I just want to know more about God I wanted to do more for him um I had my friend I pray for my friend God gave my friend it's so all just like okay I'm okay now you know I'm okay I'm good and so um, I started watching prophetic words and sometimes we can listen to prophetic words that are not for us at that time of season and so I believe um, I watched one about a husband and I wasn't even talking to anyone well I was but God told me to let those people go and so and I was just talking to him like as friends it wasn't anything like oh is this my husband and so I let them go because, you know, the Lord was showing me. He was giving me dreams about these people. He was telling me. He, like, literally told me, don't talk to that person. No. Because it was one of my exes from when I was in the world that was just trying to talk to me. And so I was just like, okay, no. And so I let it go. I wasn't focused on relationships. I wasn't focused on anything. I was just like, okay, I got my friend. I'm good. So next thing you know, a couple of weeks passed by um, from when I heard that word, that prophetic word. Um, I got a message on Facebook. <laughs> Y'all know that's how corny. Uh, I got a message on Facebook and it was from a guy. And so, um, he was just like, wow, you know, 
the way that you're speaking about the Lord um, is just so, you know, amazing because, you know, it's not a lot of people out here, especially young women speaking about the Lord, doing the will of the Lord and things like that. So I was like, oh, well, thank you. You know, I, I really appreciate that. And so then he goes to ask me if I can, if we could talk on the phone. Uh, so we did talk on the phone and from the time that I watched that prophetic word, I was continuously watching prophetic words about spouses. I think that's what a lot of people speaking about at that time. And so, um, I was like, okay, okay. And they was talking about Rebecca and Boaz. And so we got on the phone and when he started talking to me, he started to speak to me about Rebecca, uh, well, Isaac and Rebecca and Boaz and Ruth. And I'm just like, well, this has to be from the Lord <laughs> because how does he know what I've been listening to? You know, he doesn't know me. I don't know him. And so I'm just like, okay, um, I don't know what's going on, but he seemed interested. And so I was like, well, I don't want to rush into things. We could be friends. And so he didn't live where I lived. And uh, so we were just on the phone all the time. And literally, it was so crazy, y'all, because I watch a prophetic word in the morning and he would come back with these scriptures that the lady was talking about on the prophetic word. I tell my friend, I, I showed her, I'm like, he's literally telling me about, like, like he, he sent me the same scripture that was in um, the, the lady's prophetic word. It seems real, right? But you have to understand that those are spirits, monitoring spirits that know what you're doing, that will go back and tell somebody else. Now, I'm not saying that this young man is not a man of God, but there are monitoring spirits that will go back into somebody and tell them what you were seeing. They, it, it's, it's these demons, and say they're, scheme, they're scheming. The serpent is so conniving. You have to be prayed up. And so I was like, this is my husband. <laughs> this is the one. I was telling my friend, I was so happy. <laughs> she was, y'all, <laughs> I was happy. I don't know about her. I was happy, girl. I was happy, girl. I was happy. And so I kept telling her, she said, I was on the phone all day long, all night, all everything to where I stopped um interceding with god i stopped communicating let me say communicating with god i stopped doing my daily bread and everything with the lord i stopped my love intimacy growth with god and this is the beginning of my walk so you're talking about a person who just came out of the world who's not fully healed who just got done doing some things that was not of god at all and so I didn't know how to be a wife. I just got into Christ. I'm not knowing how to be submissive, any of that. And so I'm sitting here, I'm like, well, I don't need no time. <laughs> you know, God can do everything. And so it was just not right. But in the, let me tell y'all this, in deep in my, in my, it wasn't even my heart, it was my spirit. I knew something wasn't right. I kept getting like this feeling like, this something ain't right. Some just ain't right. Do not ignore that. You know, they say that God is a still small voice. The Holy Spirit, he's going to put signs out there. Like Jesus is going to put signs out there. But you got to catch them. You cannot just ignore those signs. Because when you ignore those signs, you're opening up the door for the enemy to come in and to put in more seeds, to plant more seeds for you to get deeper and deeper in. And then you're going to marry the wrong person. Then they're going to uh, mess up your purpose. They're going to mess up your walk. So that's why you have to be, you have to, you have to. It's You You and God got to be right here. Y'all got to be right here. And that's, I wasn't like that with God. I, I wasn't really reading my Bible. I would read whatever the prophetic word or whatever um, sermon I was listening to, whatever teaching I was listening to. That's the scriptures that I would read. But I wouldn't just study my Bible. I wouldn't just study about God. And so I I just, it was like my desire was more towards him. 
So when we didn't talk on the phone, I was so upset. I was seeing things manifest in me that I'm like, I'm a Christian. Like I'm, I have Christ in me, but I've, this relationship made me feel like a relationship back in the world. And I was like, this is, it's, it's just not right. It's not right, but I felt stuck. I felt stuck. And so this is before we even moved out here, y'all. So I fast. I told him, I said, I want to go on a fast. I want to fast. And he was, okay, and let me say this. He was sweet. He wasn't rude. He wasn't mean. He prayed with me, y'all. We prayed. We prayed together. We talked. That's all we talked about was the Lord. We didn't talk about nothing else. We wasn't talking about anything. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you. I'm telling you guys. The enemy is sneaky. You have to be on your guard. We were praying. To, you can ask my friend. He would want to pray with her. He was telling my sister. Now again, I'm not saying this young man is not a man of God. But is he your man of God? Is he your spouse? And so he was telling my friend stuff, telling my sister things. You know, he was saying, um, you know, what God said to him about them, all, all these different things. And so I'm thinking this is my husband. I'm like, this gotta be my husband. God to be my husband. So it was, I'ma get personal. I'ma get personal. It was one day where I got off the phone with him and I felt the urge to masturbate. And I did. Didn't understand why. Because before then, I wasn't masturbating. I wasn't doing any of that. I knew God didn't want me to do that. And so I did that. I told my friend, I said, girl, I did that. And so when I got on the phone with him, I told him, cause I just wanted them to help me pray and to, you know, get rid of like whatever was going on uh, because I just felt spiritually dead. I was felt like I was dying. Like I felt like I was just my, the, the fire I had for God was not there. And so I got on the phone with him and I told him, he was like, that's not okay. You're not supposed to be doing that. That's disgusting. I was like, you know, I was just like, but that's not encouraging. You know, you're supposed to be encouraging me. And so I was like, okay, well, um, I, yeah. And so this is, this is where the fast comes in at. Sorry, I didn't mean to get ahead of myself. But so I just felt bad right there. And I already masturbated, so I wanted to fast. I needed to understand what was going on because I felt confused. It was like the worst confusion ever. I felt so confused. I'm like, I don't know if he's the one. I don't know if he is the one. I'm doing all these things. And it was just so confusing because at the same time, it was so convincing that he was my husband. It was so convincing that he was the one. Like, you can listen to me right now and say, girl, we would we know that that wasn't the one. But if you, you have to be in the situation. And to you in that situation, I'm telling you, it can, I'm telling you. <laughs> and so I told him I wanted to do it. I wanted to fast without him, just me and Jesus Christ. That's it, the Lord and me. And so I said that um, I have to stop talking to you. Yo, I stopped talking to him for like a week and he didn't message me. I didn't message him. Y'all, I sought the Lord. <laughs> I sought the Lord. I sought the Lord. I didn't get nothing. <laughs> well, well, like it seemed like that to me. God was showing me stuff the whole time. The whole time. But me, it felt like I wasn't seeing anything. It was like a worldly relationship. I'm telling you, it was like I, I did not see it. I'm like, I'm just not seeing it. Like, Lord, what are you saying? And so I told him when I, how long the fast was going to be. So when the fast was done, he was like, can we talk? You know, hey, how did it go? You know, did you seek the Lord for whatever you were seeking him for? Because I didn't tell him that I was seeking the Lord to see if he was my spouse or not. And so he was like, I pray that the Lord gave you what you needed. And so he was so nice. y'all. I'm just, he was really nice. 
and then um time went by we still started we was just talking i thought he was the one and so i started having dreams about him and the first dream i had i'm not going to tell it it was just of a woman and some kids and we were married and we were in the house that i was living in back at home and it was some people well i guess i'm telling it now it was some people that was in the house and some lady knocked on the door and then she said it's us she she said um it's so and so there and then i said no and then they said uh yeah and she had two kids with her and they came in the room he got upset blah 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 that was a dream okay and so I don't, he didn't have any kids at the time. I guess not. And so, um, forwards on, we are still talking, everything. Um, he started to, I don't know, get like a little rude. Like, like he didn't have interest in me and not wanted to talk to me. Um, we would get off the phone early earlier than we usually would like he just didn't seem interested and so i'm sitting here like sad like you know if this is my spouse why is this going on like listen to the signs i'm, I'm gonna have everything at the end just listen to the signs like he's it's it seem if it seems like the world it is the world god is not gonna god is not a, a, a man of confusion He's not a God of, of confusion. He's not going to give you something and then there is going to revert back and just do all this different, make, make you do cartwheels, flips in your head, all that. God is not that. No. And it's going to come with peace. And let me tell you, that's what I did not have. I didn't have peace in my mind, in my spirit, and in my heart. It was not there. It was. It seemed like my world was just going backwards and not forwards. And that's the plan of the enemy. Yeah. The enemy wants to pull you back. That's the whole plan for you to be in a false relationship is for the enemy to pull you back yeah. to where God brought you from, brought you out of. And so fast forward, y'all, when I tell y'all I did like 50 fast <laughs> to see if this is my husband, cause I'm not, I don't want this video to be blown. I did a whole bunch of fast see if he was the one and so I, I still wasn't looking at the signs and so I still kept having these dreams I'm not gonna go into depth about all these dreams God kept giving me dreams now I don't know how God is speaking to you about the false relationship or the false friendship that you're in but God kept giving me dreams he kept giving me dreams it was always a light-skinned woman with two kids either she was pregnant with one or she had one, or she had them both. Cause on one of the dreams she was pregnant and they would, but it, it was always different women. They looked different, but she would always be light-skinned um, with a nice body and uh, two kids. Always, it was always that. And so I, I didn't pay attention to any of these dreams, but the, the ringing in my spirit that he wasn't the one that kept getting stronger it kept getting stronger. It kept getting stronger. So fast forward, we come out here to Texas, me and my friend. And I think I told her about maybe one or two of the dreams, but I didn't tell her about all of the dreams. Uh, or maybe one. And so we got down here. She, hers. <laughs> Do you want to speak on anything? <laughs> you can just say, just say something. Just say something about how you felt about the relationship or what you believe God was put in your spirit so i felt about the relationship <laughs> i knew he wasn't her husband. <laughs> <laughs> now she just came out and said y'all i knew he wasn't her husband like okay. like he just seemed so fake to me like <laughs> when he would talk to me he seemed fake <laughs> it seemed like he was just it was all act but it seemed like you know he could have been because he was <laughs> nice he was a nice man <laughs> But he just was fake. Like, I just knew it wasn't real love. Like, it wasn't real love. And then I'm like, I'm telling God, I'm like, God, 
That is not her husband. <laughs> God, please let her know that that's not her husband. Because her husband would not do that to her. Her husband would not. Oh, yeah. When we got here, it got bad. Her husband would not. It got uh, bad. Even, like, provoke her to <laughs> sin. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. It, it got moved bad. moved her to sin. It, 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 like, her husband is not going to allow her her want, her flesh to want to sin. No. That's not right. That's not of God. <laughs> that's just like me. If I came to her life and I'm like, girl, come on, let's go party. Let's go drink and stuff. Like, no, that's not right. You trying to make me go back to my <laughs> old ways. I don't want to go back to my old ways. Where God brought me from. <laughs> Y'all, okay, um... the devil's a liar. The devil's a liar. That's what that is. We, we, we back. We good. So Simple. I just remember, I remember <laughs> telling her, because they used to talk on the phone all day, I... every day. <laughs> I did not like that. <laughs> um, I'm like, hello, I'm over here by myself. I'm like, it's cool. You can talk. I don't want to be that friend to be like, oh, you can't talk to your man or whatever. But I'm like, I didn't like him. <laughs> so that was the point that that's what made me irritated Jeez. because I didn't like him. And I told her that. I said, please don't put him on the phone. <laughs> I because he want he would want to talk to her. He would want to be like, "Where's Kiana?" <laughs> he want to talk to her. I'm like, I don't like him. Please don't, don't, and, don't do it. Don't and I'm gonna tell it. you guys some things that he would say. And y'all gonna be like, "Well, Dominic, come on now. You should have known that wasn't the one." So he would say things like, "You know, if you, you know, if if you're not a good wife," because I was telling him these dreams too, y'all. I was telling him the dreams that I was having. Y'all, it was just horrible. And so, literally, he started saying, like, you know, well, if you are not the right wife, God will even give me Kiana. <laughs> <laughs> he said, do you know how Saul, how, how God did David to Saul? Y'all, it was a horrible <laughs> mess. Yeah, and I went, I remember, I went to the bathroom. Oh, God, I don't know I don't know about shit. I said, that man is not your husband. <laughs> she said, yes, he is. <laughs> we get married. <laughs> I said, no, that's not your husband. I'm like, I'm like, okay, God. To be I honest, y'all, I should really cry right now because it's, it, I was so, my, my, I don't have a testimony about my life growing up, but, um, sorry, I keep messing with my shirt, but. The way I grew up, I always got rejected. I always got, I was always abused in some type of way. And so being abused and growing up with, you already in relationships is like that. I was already in relationships where they made me feel so low. And so it wasn't even like God opener. So if you were like, well, Dominique, you should have seen that that was the one, that that was the one. Before I even got saved, I was, I was already in stuff like that. So it, it wasn't like nothing new to me. Like even my dad would say stuff like, y'all ain't my kids, y'all not my kids. And so growing up being rejected, it's like when you're not fully healed, the enemy will try to use any and everything, especially your weak spots. And that was something I wanted to do in the world was, um, I wanted to be in a relationship. I wanted to be with a man all day long, all the time. It was just disgusting. And so um, when he came, I was just blind. I was blind. But yeah, my, I was blind. I, <laughs> thank God that God gives a good friends. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, God. Because she kept it real. Y'all, she kept it so real. She didn't hold back nothing. Like, I, and I don't want no friend that's gonna hold back nothing. If you got a friend that's gonna hold back something from you, that's not okay. Even if she didn't say it like in no disrespect, but she was like, friend, like, that's not the one. Like, she said it as nice as she could. And I was like, girl, yes, it is. We're getting married. <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna be in the wedding. We're gonna be married. <laughs> and so I was still just blind. <laughs> Y'all, she said to this day we weren't gonna be married. Girl, my my thoughts. I'm married. like, no, girl. I know you got way better for my friend. <laughs> I 
I know you got way better. Y'all. Nah, <laughs> I know. Nah. I know. Because I'm really sweet, y'all. Her husband is going to be way better than him. <laughs> Come on now. That's not... God, come on. And he I'm kept like, saying God. that. He like he he, he would he gonna be way better than that. He will always yes, say that. That's settling. He will always <laughs> say that. He will always say, you know, if if you don't if or he wouldn't say me, he wouldn't try to say me, but he would say me. I knew he was talking about me. He was like if a wife is not doing right, God would replace them with somebody else. And I already felt like he kinda like Kiana, like it was like in my spirit. Like I just knew. It's like God gave me. The, he gives me the ability to feel what's in somebody else's spirit. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. And so I already knew. I'm like. Something ain't right right there. But Kiana. She didn't. She didn't care. Nothing about. Like. Um, she didn't. Nothing. And But he would always talk about Kiana. He would always talk about Kiana and everything. Like. And so it, he stopped talking about it. Because I'm like. Do you like her? He was like, no, that's your friend. I just don't want her to feel like, you know, she's she's right there and da 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 da. Like I was just like, okay. Oh, okay. And so next thing, he I had oh yeah, I had a dream about him. I had the same dream that she had. God gave me the same dream. I had two dreams back to back. About him. About when we came down here. This is when we were down here now in in Texas. She had I was dreams. I'm telling you, I do not go to sleep thinking about that man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, she seriously. I, was, she, I did not like him. I was she did not be from the beginning, y'all. It was from she, jump. I'm like, no, she's not it. <laughs> but I got gave me a dream, and in dream, it was like it was a light skinned woman, and she was pregnant with his baby, and I was like. <laughs> Do y'all see God? Like, Do y'all see God? <laughs> I'm like, and then I had another dream, and like the, the next night, God mm. gave me another dream. The next to night, confirm, the to next confirm. so night, it was the same woman, light skinned woman, and it was like, you know, they, it was I don't know, the dream, basically was saying God was saying the relationship's not right. It's not right, and. It's not right. It's, it's not it. It's not it. And so you may not have a friend, you know, but if God has given you any of these signs or if you feel even in your spirit that he's not the one, baby, he's not the one. If you're confused and you have peace about it, he's not the one. The friendship, even just a friendship, a friend, you and another girl, you and another boy, whatever it is, y'all just friends, like how me and my friend is friends. And you feel like they just not right. Pray about it. Seek the Lord for it and believe what your spirit is telling you. Because I kept thinking it was the enemy. Let me tell y'all this. I kept thinking it was the enemy that was trying to keep us away from each other. Because, you know, the Bible says two is better than one. And so, you know, the enemy is afraid when people get in friendships, relationships and all that. He's afraid because he know how powerful y'all are going to be for the kingdom of God. That's why he don't like marriages. He does not like marriages. He don't like friendships. He don't like families. None of that. And so I kept thinking it was the enemy. Like this, this is the enemy trying to. Yeah, it was the Lord. And so um, he started to make me cry. Like my friend will see. It. She was like, she just be like, Dominic, that's not what your husband. That a man of God is not going to make you cry. He's not going to make you feel bad. Like I was literally sitting there crying like it like literally crying like i'm in the world like in a real relationship i'm like this is not god and so finally i came to like i'm like this is not it i just need to get out of this like i don't want to be in this anymore because we he, we we um did some things it, it wasn't in person but we both did some things uh over the phone that we was not supposed to do and so um it, it started to get real bad fast out here, especially out here. And so um, God literally told me to go on a drive fast. And I went on a dry seven day fast, or let me say water. And um, I just knew God, what God was saying. Cause it was more things that I needed to be delivered from, obviously. And so, but that was one of them. God was telling me to let go. You need to go through deliverance. You need to let that go. 
and seriously i went through deliverance um with noah hines and just different things and you know god delivered me and i told him it was hard for me to tell him but i told him you know you're not the one and he tried to go back and forth and all these different things and you know i just knew i it was like a a, a absolutely like i know exactly what god is saying he is not the one and so i had to cut it off and any longer that i kept going on with it i knew that it was making god more and more upset and so it was like a urge you need to stop right now you need to stop and so i had to stop i had to it was something it was something else that god um it just, it came to me, but then it left. But God literally, he literally continued to show me everything. But I just didn't want to see it. You know why? Because I wanted to be true that he was my husband. I wanted that. So when you want something, you make it your idol. That's what it is. I was making him my idol. I was making him my God. And so when you put something or someone before the Lord, our God, you make them your God. That's what I was doing. I was making him my God. And that's why it drove me to sinful ways. That's why it drove me to like, it was just demonic. It was, it was so demonic. Again, I'm not saying he's not a child of God. We both did things that we was not supposed to do. And, you know, I pray for him as well as myself. And um, everybody needs healing. Everybody needs deliverance. And so that's what you need to go through. If you're knowing Christ or if you're not knowing Christ, but you feel like you're in the wrong friendship, relationship, whatever it may be, uh, look and know what God is saying. You go in that word, you search the scriptures. Your husband, your friendship, they're not going to pull you away from the Lord. Yeah. They're, it, it, simple ways, they're not going to make you compromise. If your friends are making you compromise, if the man in your life make you compromise, y'all kissing, doing all this other stuff, almost about to have sex, that's not your husband. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you've been hearing. I don't care what you, like I said, that man was telling me about the same scriptures, scriptures I was reading or listening to. You got to know what the Lord is saying. Wait patiently. I didn't even have an intimacy relationship with the Lord. I'm just now getting there. And it's like you have to know who you are in Christ. I'm just now knowing my identity in Christ. It's a process. This this don't go overnight. You, It's not going to happen overnight. If you still got unforgiveness in your heart grudges in you all that you need to be delivered and set free seek the lord our god seek ye first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you you don't worry you don't worry about a relationship don't worry about marriage if god wants you to have that baby girl he gonna give it to you or a brother he gonna give it to you it's you don't even have to worry about that and when god give it to you our God does wonderful things. We were just reading about that last night. He does wonderful things. He does wonderful, amazing, over-the-top things. Your husband is going to be somebody that is just what you wanted and more. And what he his standards is. Like, he ain't going to give you no mediocre, no make you settle for less. No, he's not going to. It ain't going to be like that. It's not going to be like that. It's not going to push you to something that you don't want to be y'all gonna both be on fire for the lord for his kingdom don't even worry don't even worry like don't worry don't worry and i'm here to just encourage my brothers and sisters in christ just to seek the lord more and get your mind because even when your mind is focused on relationships or, or anything and it don't have to be just relationships anything you're making that your idol don't make anything your idol. Let God be the God of all over you and everything that you do. Because once you put God before everything, all everything else is, is going to be perfect. It's going to be so smooth sailing and everything is going to be good. And so, again, I'm just here to encourage y'all. 
to let y'all know God is good. He's not going to stray you away. God is not going to put you on something that's going to make you do things of the world, sinful things. God said, I hate what I hate. God said, if you're a friend with the world, then you're enemy with him. <laughs> so you can't tell me that my God is telling you to let me uh, us have sex before we get married because you want to test out something. No, that's not our God at all. And so, please seek the Lord. Um, if you need to fast, fast. Ask the Lord to let go of your desires and give you his. Because he will do it. And he will deliver you and set you free from it. If you feel like, because I feel like it was so hard for me to let go of that relationship. But if you feel like that, go to the Lord. The Lord will make your heart. And then it was another thing, and I'm I'm done. My friend told me, and it was just so like, well, that's true. She said, how is it that we just met? We met like oh, September, September, early September. And God moved us out here April of last year. You see the short amount of time. It wasn't even a year when God moved us out. And so I was trying to get married to this person. And she said, if that's your husband, why didn't God bring y'all to each other? It's about to be a year. It was about to be a year. Literally, it was about to be a year when, when we met. God is not, he don't do things like, he's not slow to his promise. He's not slack to his promises. If this is my husband, he would have been allowed us to meet up or anything. And we didn't, never, never, never seen each other in person. Never, it was never. And so we kept trying to find different avenues to like see each other. This never happened. And so just know, know that what God does, he can do the impossible. So if, it, if it's not happening, it is not meant to happen. And you need to let that go, let it go, let it go. Uh, I'm saying this because I love y'all and I want everyone else to be um, healed and delivered and set free like I was. Uh, because God got so many better doors open for us. And so we have to just be patient and wait. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And he will bless you with whatever you need to bless you with. Yeah. And so I love you guys. And I thank y'all for just tuning in and coming on to my friend's channel uh, once again. And um, I pray that somebody was blessed by this. Um, I pray it wasn't long, but I pray someone is blessed by this. Yes. Please. If you feel the tugging on your heart for the Lord to, uh, that he's speaking to you, please let it go. Because at the end of that road is destruction. It's not nothing but destruction. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to die in your sins. And so, hearken to the voice of the Lord. That's all I have to say, literally. <laughs> hearken to the voice of the Lord, because God will do it. Mm -hmm. He will do it. He will do it. So God bless you guys. And um, it was amazing. It was amazing being on my friend's channel. It was just amazing. So, yes. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>